So now we are moving to the question number 5.3. It is a problem related to vertical section by And the question is a cube of 30 mm edge rest to an HP on its face such that one of its vertical square faces is inclined at 30 degree TV. So a cube which is inclined at an inclination of 30 degree with the VP. One of its vertical uh, square faces is inclined at 30 degree with the VP. A section plane perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. So a section plane perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP. That is a vertical section plane. Cuts the cube at a distance of 10 mm from its vertical axis and in front of it draw its top and the sectional front views and the vertical center line is 40 mm from the view. So, first we have to construct the cube uh, and it is uh, given that the cube, one of the side of the cube is inclined at an angle of 30 degree with the VP that is one condition and the second condition is the vertical center line is 40 mm from the VP. So, how can we construct the cube? The one thing is the Q, center of the Q should be at a distance of 40 mm from V. And the second one is the base edge of the cube is at an inclination of 30 degree with the So, listen, at an inclination of 30 degree, at an inclination of 30 degree, we can construct the cube, the base of the cube is given of 30 mm. So, this is 30 this is 30, this is another 30 and this is 30. So, now the cube, the top view of the cube is constructed because in the top view we are uh, getting the uh, base of the cube. And it is given that uh, the center is at a distance of 40 mm from the cube. So, how can you obtain that? The easiest method is uh, just obtain its center and from that point at a distance of 40 mm draw the x y line. I hope you understood. First we construct the cube, locate its center and from the center at a distance of 40 we can draw the x y line. Name the points as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and x. Since it is a cube, this will also will be 30. This will be A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash and S dash. Here O no 2. So, this will be the axis, here it will be one dash and this is. Okay, understood? To construct the simple position or the position of the object. Now it is given that it is cut by a vertical section plane or it is cut by a plane perpendicular to HP and parallel to it. That means a plane like this and that cut the solid at a distance of 10 mm in front of the vertical axis. So, where is the vertical axis? If this is the what is it? Pr uh, this is the cube this will be the center. So, this is the vertical axis. So, 10 mm in front means from this point at a distance of 10 mm this will be the vertical section plane. And how can we see that vertical section plane in the top view? This is how we are obtaining the top view. That means this is the center and at a distance of 10 mm from the center, this will be the vertical section. So how can we indicate that vertical section by at a distance of 10 mm from this center, we can draw the section by. And what is the vertical section? This plane, this will be horizontal trace because this is a vertical plane and it is cutting like this. Vertical section plane and this is cutting like this. So, this is a horizontal. Now, this is intersecting here. Since there is a BC and FG, two intersection points are there that are 1 and 2. Similarly, we are obtaining three, two points here, 3 and 4. Now, project to this here. Project to this like this. So, that this will be 1 dash, 
2 dash, this will be 3 dash and 4 dash. Can you close this? Remove this one. So this will be a corresponding section. I think all of you have understood. Again, I will repeat. First construct the uh, uh, top of the tube, that is the square at an inclination 30. So start from a horizontal line at an inclination 30, start, start uh, draw the base at a distance of length of 30 mm. Complete the square, locate its center and it is given that the center is at a distance of 40 mm from the VP. So from this point at a distance of 40, draw the x-ray line and complete the front view also. 1, 2, 3 and 4 mark the corresponding points on the top view also as explained in the front view also as explained in the previous question so that you can obtain the final okay so now we are moving to the next question that is question number 5.4 the question is a pentagonal pyramid of side 25 mm and height 60 mm is resting on its base on HP one of the coordinates of its base is touching the VP and the side containing that corner is inclined 30 degrees to VP. So how can you construct the simple position? Simple position, the cone is resting on its base on HP and one of the coordinates of its base is touching the VP and the edge containing that corner is inclined 30 degrees to VP. So, we can start with the XY line. This is the corner which is touching the VP from that point at an inclination of 30 degree start the pendant it is going that it is 25 so keeping that edge we can complete the pentagon. so this is the pentagon. now this is A, B, C, D, E also this is a pentagonal pyramid we can obtain on gamma over 2. Now this is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash. Here it is on dash. And at the height of 60, we can obtain the corresponding auto dash. Of. This is the border that is completed. This edge will be visible. This edge also will be visible. This edge will be in So the top view and the front view has been completed. Now read the question again. In the question, it is cut by a section plane parallel to VP. So this is a section plane parallel to VP and 10 mm in front of VP front of the axis of the pyramid so it is cut by a section plane parallel to vp parallel to vp means this is a section plane and that section plane is 10 mm in front of the axis of the pyramid so just similar to the previous question if this is the axis if this is the axis 10 mm in front of the axis means like this so from the axis at a distance of 10 mm from the axis we can obtain the horizontal trace or the cutting edge so this is the horizontal trace or cutting edge and we can see that it intersect here the base CD so it is one it intersect here that is a lateral edge O and C so it is two it also intersect the lateral edge O and B here it is three and here it is four so we have seen that it has intersected four different points one two three four now project all these points so one is a point on CD so project like this so that we obtain one dash 2 is a point on the lateral edge, so project like this, it is a point on O to C, so this will be 2, similarly it is a point on O to B, so this will be 3, sorry 3 dash, this is a point on base, so project is here, so that it will be somewhere here, so that that will be 4 dash, so now this is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash, then close all this, Move this so that this will be the solution. I think you all have understood. Uh, I will explain again. The pentagon is uh, touching the VP. So from this point, one of the corner of the pentagon is touching the VP, so that we can start from here. 
from that the base edge containing that corner is inclined to 30 degree so from that point at an angle of 30 degree we can draw the first base of the pentagon you can give this 30 keeping that line or keeping that base we can break the pentagon and the front view also now it is cut by a section plane vertical section plane that is perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so and that section plane is attaining at a distance of 10 mm in front of the axis so from one at a distance of 10 mm in front we can draw the section plane that is a horizontal trace it intersects four points one two three four in that one is intersecting in the base edge two and a pair intersecting in the lateral edges and four is intersecting again on the base edge Locate it in the front view so that we will obtain the answer, complete the dimensions, and this will be your answer. Thank you.